What's going on YouTube? Southern Kite coming to you with another haul video. I do hear the bad news that the Postal Service is going to be um, shutting down for Saturday, so probably won't get no boxes tomorrow, but I did get some boxes today. Um, and I did get one yesterday, which I shared on my live stream last night. If you haven't checked that video out, uh, be sure to go and check that out. It's the uh, one labeled 300 subscriber giveaway. And if you missed out, unfortunately, you missed out. Uh, we did give away some books. And um, so that was all said and done. I had a good time. I had some guests. But uh, we, you still have an opportunity to enter into the 400 subscriber giveaway uh, challenge. Be sure to check that video out to find out how to win and what you can win. Um, also, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. With that, this is what I got yesterday. Harbinger Zero, 9.6, signed by Jim Shooter himself. And the uh, good thing about uh, this book right here, for those of you who might not know, is that uh, back in the day in the early Valiant, uh, comics there were coupons and those coupons had to be mailed in in order to get this pink variant so other comics had to die for this one to live and so um, these can get pretty pricey I elected to take one uh, gray bump down to get a signature um, I was planning on getting Jim Shooter to sign some stuff with the virus and all might not happen this year, but I do got a bunch of other packages that came in today. All goodies, hopefully all are free of the dreaded, uh, not mentioned named disease. Uh, this one I had ordered a while back. I'd hope to maybe get a couple of more things than just this. So I wouldn't have to pay for shipping on one book. It's kind of a, a bigger variant of a book. First appearance of a character, first appearance Friday, and uh, but it is not in like super duper shape, which I didn't pay super duper shape price, so I wasn't expecting it to be. But we'll see. <clears throat> oh, we threw some other stuff in here. Yeah, okay. Ooh, yikes! I wasn't joking. I was honest about it. All right, so um, this is Uncanny X-Men 221, the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. And if you'll notice, this has classic up here because this is the So Much Fun variant. Um, seems like Toys R Us had something to do with this or something. If you know, leave a comment in the video below. But uh, he did foresay that uh, this is not in the greatest of shape. Um, there is a crease that goes down the center of the book. That is color breaking. So not gradable material, but it is in the PC. Got it on the cheap. And so that was good. As you know, I have the uh, entire run of Uncanny X-Men Volume 1. So uh, in this year, I've got some big books on the collection hunt, but I'm going to fill out that thing. So I've got issues negative 1 through 544, but there's variants. I, might, I mean, I've got one issue at least of every comic. <clears throat> but I might have uh, a direct edition, whereas I want a new stand. Or like in this case, I've got the original, and that's actually signed by Mark Silvestri, and wanted to get that one. So uh, he threw in a couple other ones uh, that I had, uh, Year of the Villain, that's kind of the teaser deal, and Hellstrom, uh, Prince of Lies. So dropping that in there for me as well, so appreciate that. So... Two Brothers Comics, I'm sure you all have checked out their videos, uh, always dropping great content. Uh, Dustin over there is going to be at a, his comic shop trying to help them out during this time. I've bought some stuff from them. And um, bought this last week. He was walking through the shop and I said, man, let me just check that out. And uh, he's actually going to be doing that again tonight. Uh, so y'all be sure to go and check out his videos over there. I don't know if he, I'm assuming he's going to be on Instagram or, or might be on YouTube, you know. Um, but he was doing this last week and I happened to uh, check him out and I said, man, send me that. And so he did. Uh, I know what that box is. Those are probably the slabs. These are probably the regular raw books. 
Uh, and then the other thing too, uh, you probably saw his uh, video that he dropped regarding those um, Captain Americas he traded. Those were for me. And these are the books that I got from him from those trades. Some of them are. Yeah, some of them are. Okay. So, so this one was done by Brian Silverback, I believe. Uh, this is not one of the trades. This was one of the ones that was in the uh, comic shop that I noticed that I liked. It's the uh, Bounty Hunters, number one, blank sketch. We got Bosk. We got Ig88. And never can remember that guy's name. Starts with a D, I believe. Leave a comment down below if you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And I snatched it up for what I felt was a good price. So these are the ones that I traded for him for. House of X, issue six. Got the Omega Red on the cover. Coming through the Krakoan portal, as it were. Powers of X, number three. Uh, this is the first edition of that. Got Rasputin, Rasputin on there. Wolverine number one. Got the Clayton Crane variant. Kind of an homage to the original uh, series. This is X-Men number 11. Um, the Pressman variant. So this came in the X-Men board game, or one of them. I think there was another one in there. I think the death of Ileana Rasputin. Um, okay, that's one of my kids in the back die. Um, this is one, I didn't actually think this was part of the deal because um, I already had this comment. Hmm, okay. Um, so 66. But I did not have these. All right. So, um, but I didn't have that one. And then also 68. Got a little old man Hawkeye going on right there. And number 69. And number 70. So didn't have those there. So pick those up. There's one, I think you said that Nick had it at his house and so it would have to come from a different place. Um, so this is gonna be those slabs that I bought. And uh, I was only actually looking for issue number one because at that time I only had, I had issues two through four of the mini series, which I'll show you what it is in a minute. And uh, so he told me how much number one was, and so I was like, that's pretty cool. And um, so then he came back and he said, hey, the owner said that he would do 180 for the whole series. So I was like, hmm, 180, they're all slabbed. Okay, we can do that. So what I did last night, I gave away the ones I had, all but one. Uh, to other people in the community. All right, so we first off, we got Dark Knight Returns number one. Um, this is an older CGC case. I imagine they're going to be thicker anyway because it is a bigger book, but uh, this is an older CGC case. One of the reasons why it looks so funny. But uh, yeah, 9.6. Classic cover. Um, I did not have, this is the one I did not have, and uh, so that was the one that I wanted to get, but the other ones that I have were reader copies, and these were all in pretty decent uh, grades, um, so like I said, they, they were willing to sell the entire four set for $180. And so, um, like this, this one right here by itself had ninety dollars listed on there, and so they're like you know, a lot. All these comic shops right now, hey, we're trying to keep things afloat. They're not able to stay open. They're trying to sell stuff online. You know, some shops are doing better at it than others, and so uh, they're trying to make some deals, move some inventory. So that's a nine point six. So glad to pick that one up. 
Should have opened them all, but then you wouldn't have known what the other ones were. While I was opening them. So this one was a little bit lower grade. The one that I had was probably the same grade or better uh, that I had bought raw. And so you see you had it listed for 50 bucks on there. So. Hmm. Death of the Joker, which I guess in that universe you did that. Hopefully everybody's staying safe out there. Able to catch up on some reading. Hopefully the Postal Service is working where you are and uh, delivering your stuff in a timely fashion. And then the last one, a little Batman Superman. I was going to say Batman and Superman before. Batman and Superman was cool, but it never was. So, uh, Batman uh, v Superman um, 9.2. So this one's probably better than the one that I had. But again, mine were raw. This one was slab. So... I've never had any of the thick cases, so I don't know if this is just an old CGC case and that's why they look like this, or if it's because it's a bigger book. Comment down below if you know the answer to that. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. So yeah, I keep uh, getting, I've got more stuff uh, on the way to get here next week, so I'll be continue to drop videos like this. Um, I'm con deemed essential, which I feel so privileged to be. Um, I'm fortunate and like a lot of people I can do some of what I do from home and so been able to work around this whole crazy time that we live in but for those of you who are not thoughts and prayers out to you uh, but everybody should be sure to be wise and be safe out there hopefully everybody's being excellent to each other I stole that from Centauri Stir Fry uh, but uh, till next time keep reading and keep collecting <laughs>